Today, a new flag was unveiled atop the Trent building. The Progress Pride flag was put up by the LGBTQ plus staff network, and this is for Pride History Month. The Pride flag has been in use since its inception in 1978. The flag was designed by Gilbert Baker, a San Francisco resident and close friend of gay rights activist and San Francisco Mayor Harvey Milk. The flag is very useful as a symbol in terms of it proclaims power, it says something, it isn't a word or a logo like a gizmo graphically. It's something that can be interpreted a million different ways. Its wide adoption has created criticisms of its design and more recently inclusivity. Many activists claimed that the flag had become too narrow in what it had come to represent, with the push for intersectionality. It seems that this was the only, it was only a matter of time before the pride flag was redesigned. The person who created the new flag was Amber Hikes from the Philadelphia city government. The new flag has a brown and a black stripe, the brown stripe representing and showing support for LGBTQ plus people of colour. Inspired by hikes, the Seattle government in 2018 unveiled their new pride flag, which included the trans flag combined with the racial solidarity flag created by hikes. The trans flag was created by Monica Helms in 1999. It lived in relative obscurity until the pride revolution of the early 2010s. The flag is based on Baker's design, but focused only on representing trans people. The Seattle design received much criticism, not from the symbolism or the sentiment behind the move, but from the 11 stripe design. Many people compared it to a layer cake and it was seen as too busy and confusing. This moved non-binary artist Daniel Quasar to redesign the flag. Ah, uh, well this is an arrow and arrows often point somewhere and they mean movement. And so for me it was kind of like, well, here is the message and the mission that we have, but it is still ongoing and it is still necessary. So it is a progression that we need to keep doing. Daniel moved the brown, black, pink, white and blue colours into a triangle on the hoist side of the flag. Although this was originally meant for aesthetic purposes, this triangle has now become a symbol of movement and progress. In a controversial move, Quasar copyrighted the flag's design. The flag has now been widely adopted alongside the racial solidarity flag and the original rainbow flag in celebrating pride worldwide. Closer to home in Nottingham, the city council painted the streets of Hockley with rainbow crossings. These are located outside the Broadway cinema. The leader of the Labour Party at Nottingham City Council said, it has brought people together and also local businesses. It says Nottingham is a place where everyone can live equally. In 2020, the University of Nottingham decided to install three rainbow crossings, these being at University Park, Jubilee and Sutton Bonington campus. These flags all have the black and brown stripe of the Philadelphia racial solidarity flag. Sam Hawkins, former SU LGBT plus officer said, by installing rainbow crossings on three of our campuses, this sends out a very clear message to our students, both current and prospective that the University of Nottingham is an institution that values equity and that bigotry of any kind is not tolerated.